Jeez. Show on the road. See for my Amazon official what's going on. Miss Kid was happening. It's, 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 it's a it's an early one today. You never know, we might be back a little bit later as well, you know. It's thinking about it. It's thinking. Maybe we should do a, a late night show as well. Late night. Late night. So just waiting for um, Bobby Mac coming all the way from Hong Kong. All the way from Hong Kong. You know? A little way away. So you know the vibe. Share the live. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Hold on. One second. Let's play some more music, shall we? Should I should I switch a color that maybe like yellow or? Oh, you got different you got different colors over there. 
Yeah. What do you um, mean? Like I have oh, blue when I have pink, and this one is purple, and I have like orange and, and yellow. <laughs> yeah, you, know you got the disco setup going on over there, Barbie. Yes. Introduce, introduce yourself because <laughs> it's SJ Glitch TV. What's going on? And I am interviewing. Okay, um, I'm Barbie Mac, and um, I am a um, singer, and I, I write my songs. Um, I write songs for others, and I also produce. Hey, Barbie Mac, what's going on? And you're all the way in Hong Kong, are you, are you at the moment? Yeah, I am. Um, actually, I wanted to tell you one thing. So, like, you know, like last week when we when we talked, um, I checked the time, and and it's like. 10 p.m. like Hong Kong time and 2 2 p.m. in London time, UK time. Yeah. And then and then you know actually like 15 minutes before, and then I got an email about like energy healing, and then I was like looking at that, and then I I looked at the time zone, and I was like wait because like I think like a couple of days ago the time zone just shit just um switched back, so it's like um so it's like 9 p.m. here, but like not 10 p.m. in my time. So I was like, shit, I got to get ready. I was like, so <laughs> Oh, so it's a different time. So it's 9 p.m. there now. Yep, it's 9 p.m. Oh, cause they, oh you, you guys do that. You guys do that thing where you move the time as well? Because we went, I think we went an hour forward. Like in the summer and in the winter, we go an hour back. Do you do that? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so we're going to speak about your journey in music and one one, one or two other things and stuff like that. So tell me, how how did you get the name Barbie Mac? Like, how did that how did that start? Actually, that's my real name. So I don't know, like, I didn't name myself Barbie. Really, it was uh, awkward. I think, like, you know, um, earlier when, when I was younger, I, I didn't really like the name because, you know, because, you know, people kind of remember you, you know, like, what you're acting, you know, why are you calling Barbie? But, you know... I don't know, like my mom named me that and when I was like a baby and then she she kind of looked at me and then, and, then, and then thought like because I always like, I don't really move, I, I don't move that much. I was just like always um, sitting here. I don't really blink my eyes, just like being there. And then my mom looked at me and then she was like, okay, um, I, I, I want to call her Barbie. And then, yeah, I have this name, but um, it's my artist name, but also my, um, also my real name. No, it's actually your real name. Right? That's interesting, yeah. interesting. You know, you know it's, it's funny, you know, how, how parents just come up with names and stuff, and it's just basically based on how, what, what they get from, from the baby, from, from the initial movements of the baby. That's basically how you got your name. That's interesting. I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> so so what, was, what, was your, what was your inspirations, you know, starting off in music? Like, what made you decide that you wanted to be a singer songwriter and stuff like that you know when i was in high school like some people think that i'm like a little awkward because i'm always like just you know when i'm like taking classes i just like being in the classroom and kind of write my songs even like maybe i don't really have the melodies and i just like always writing something on paper and they don't know what, they don't really know what i was doing and then and then i i kind of felt like yeah i kind of felt like you know music is my thing and then I want to learn guitar, but I also hate the feeling of like being in class or like people teaching me things. I really hate that. So I kind of like, I, I think I went there, went for four lessons and I felt like, okay, I wanted to like kind of learn it um, on my own. And I kind of joined some like online classes and then I started, you know, guitar. Like I'm not really good at it. Uh, like I can't really do solo. The people, yeah, when they do solo, it's like crazy, you know, with the, with the fingers, but then I can like do chords and I can like, um, I can like express my idea in, into like something and then and then yeah and that's that's how I kind of started music like when I was 16 and then um, 17 yeah and then I, I that first channel and I, I started YouTube um, yeah when I was oh, so, okay so you have a YouTube channel as well yep I have a YouTube channel okay is it is a link in your in your bio in the um on your Instagram yeah yeah, um, oh, the link, cool. yeah, I, I recently oh. learned to like kind of use a link. So when you click in and then people can select, you know, Instagram, or Facebook or like. Or oh, OK, so there's multiple links. Yeah. So there's multiple links and you, they, they can choose where they want to go and listen to Barbie Max music and all of that stuff. So do so you have specific artists that inspired you, you know, when you was on your voyage 
to doing music. Um, do, you, do you have an um, example? You know, like, um, for me, like, I, I started rapping when I was, I don't know, 20, 21 or so. And I liked Biggie. I liked Tupac. I liked um, LL Cool J, uh, Busta Rhymes. These were, like, artists that I'd listened to and, and it inspired me to do stuff. Did you have artists that you listened to when you was young that you think inspired you to do more music? Yeah, definitely. Um, I really liked Black Bear um, back to when he wasn't really that uh, famous. And then I, I, I kind of checked out his music on YouTube and then I was like, wow, this is like crazy good. And then I kind of figured out that he produced songs and he writes songs, everything just by himself in the beginning. And then it really inspired me. And then I really like his style. And so I kind of like, okay, if he can do it, then maybe like I can also try something like that. And that's why I kind of started it. Oh, okay, okay. So what was your, you know, like performing, you know, for me, like writing, you know, music was kind of easy. I found it easy. But performing, you know, being on stage in front of hundreds of people, I kind of found it hard. Like, I don't know. I, I, it seemed like, for me, I had to get into a whole new, I had to create a new person, like a new personality that went on stage. I couldn't go on stage as myself. I had to be someone else. That was for me, because I just found it just crazy nerve, like my nerves would just take over. <laughs> I feel like five <laughs> minutes before going on stage, it's like I couldn't do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Did you, did you, did, did you find like, did you have like problems performing live or was it, was it okay for you? Um, I think like in the past, I, I used to join like different competitions and um, I think like that really depends on the audience. If, if you know, if they're like nice and if they like, you know, do some um, maybe shout, maybe like you know, cheer you up from when you're on the stage, and that you know that that make me like less less nervous. Um, yeah, I think like audience is like the the key um, for me if I get nervous or not. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, so have you? So you're in you're in Hong Kong now, and have you ever like performed in different countries, or is it just Hong Kong that you you main mainly on at the moment, or have you like traveled and been different places? That's what I meant. I I like to travel a lot, um, but I um, I think I've performed once in Macau, but I think that time um, I was in Hot Rock Cafe with my friends, and we went in the restaurant. And uh, I saw a band was performing. It was really cool, looking like all purple, and then with all smoke and on on stage, and with a band. And um, I, I kind of like I kind of got excited, and I asked the waiter if I can go up and perform one song. And he was like, "Okay, yeah, sure." And then we talked with the band, and I was like, I was writing down the list. It was like um, ten impossible thing for me to do, and it was one of it. And that night, I kind of like went on stage, and you know, like. Um, and I kind of like act like I was so nervous because that's that's why the, like that is the this is why like the people when they see you, you're like so nervous they were like being like so cheerful to you like you know like you can do well and then yeah I, I felt like that day was kind of like I felt like I was in a movie. <laughs> I think I think you know nerves plays a part um, when you haven't done a lot of stuff. But then when you start doing more and more performances, it becomes more easier. And then you can always look back in the, the performances that you've done and said, you know, I've done this before. So this isn't a problem. I can just do this again. It's not a problem. I think, I think that's how I kind of got over that sort of little milestone and stuff like that. It was, it can be a bit nerve wracking. So <laughs> if, You've just you've just logged in. It's SJ Gliss TV, and we are interviewing Barbie Mac. Let me just go to the um, comments just to say hello, because I like to like to get okay. everyone interacting. So we've got Miss Kid in the building. What's up, uh, Sif? Amazon official scan on with you. Uh, what else we got in there? Naiha Torres, I think I've said the name properly. SSJ Models, what's going on? Miss Beautiful Pastors in the building. Miss J is also here. Those, what's happening? 
those gonna send some waves to everyone. Uh, who else is it? Adam, Pado, Selek, Lako Crap, Lake, what's it? Lake on Rap, Un, Un, you know, I'm the, I'm the worst person when it comes to pronouncing people's names, you know. Peg, was it Pegos Prentice, Jubani, and the list goes on. So, Barbie. <clears throat> how how has the lockdown how's the lockdown been for you for you guys over there? Um, <clears throat> it's it's pretty good at the moment. No, it, I mean not lockdown is never good, but um, it's it's um it's it's opening. Oh, okay. Things that things are starting to open up again. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, because it's, it's it's crazy for for us. They are saying that it's gonna it's gonna open up very soon, but at the moment it's just like stay in your house, don't come out. <laughs> you can look through the window, but don't come out. <laughs> yeah. uh, are you doing okay? Are you you're, like being healthy and, and safe? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know, like I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with staying at home because I like staying at home anyway. I, I was always been. I've always been that way. I mean, I've had times in my life where I felt like I had to be a rock star and be in clubs and raving and dancing on tables and all of that. But that's all in the past. Now, I like to stay at home and just, you know, watch movies and speak to people on the internet and that sort of thing. So I don't have a problem with the lockdown. I mean, there was a, um, there was a you know, when people all come out and they protest, there was a pro protest the other day and people were saying they don't want to wear masks anymore and they was all out in the streets and you know that was a bit crazy but i think you know it's good to protest about things that you you know you're not particularly happy happy with i think it's good you know protest get it all off your chest then move on what do you think um yeah i i agree I agree. Yeah, I think so. So in the future now, so we're in, what, what year are we in? 2021. Do you have any new projects coming out for this year that your, your, you know, your listeners will be interested in, in, in watching and listening? Um, actually, yeah, at the moment, I have uh, tons of pro projects going on every day. Um, but um, I, even though I really want to share, but it's sometimes it's not really up to me. You know, sometimes I... I, I own like fifty percent royalties. I couldn't really upload until the the song is released. Um, but um, okay. besides this, um, of course, I would be really happy if you know if if there are any news from the labels if they release it, then I would you know really happy to share. But at the same time, I wanted to keep up with my consistent consistency on my YouTube, which I you know I, I upload covers every week. Um, yeah, and that that's what I'm doing at the moment. And oh, and also I joined sections. So section is kind of like a website where um, a lot of new artists um, they go online, kind of like performing online. It's kind of like an online concert thing. Um, okay. And, yeah, I, I start. I'm starting this. Um, I think this month. Okay, that's a, that sounds interesting. So it's like an online concert. So how how does it work? So you sign up. And then you you're allowed to go live to the people that are on that particular app. Is that how it works? For me, um, somebody discovered me on my YouTube. I don't know how because, well, I, <laughs> I don't have that many views on YouTube. But um, somebody <laughs> discovered me, and then um, wanted me for an audition for um, sections. But if you um, if somebody from section didn't contact you. Um, you can also go on the website and you can also um, fill in some information and there are some people who will kind of look you up and then maybe they will like send you an audition. And then, yeah, that's a way that you can also earn online, you know, by performing like a short live concert for like 20 minutes. Okay, yeah, yeah that's very interesting. I, I've not heard of that app, so I'm going to be checking it out. Push, I'll push people towards them. Yeah, you because know, you know, I think in lockdown it is good to try and get back some sort of money from doing your music. Because you know, 
clubs are closed, concerts are not happening, people are not performing and getting that money that they used to be getting. So it's good for, so, you know, companies like Sections to bring out uh, and, and invent another way of people, well, artists getting, getting some sort of next income. I think that's a good thing. Shout out, Boo Becker, what's going on? I see you. I see you. So how, how, how did it go? What is your, I was going to say, what is your a way of writing songs? Because, you know, some people, they, they have to be in a specific place in their house or they need to go for a walk or sit in the car to record, not record, but to actually write music. Do you have a, a particular process that you go through when it comes to writing music? Um, that's a good question. Um, usually like, when I write songs, um, I write mostly from my experiences or, um, and, you know, I, I, I um, I get inspired. It can be anything. Maybe like when I look at the pillow, then I get inspired. I can just write a song about pillow. But I mean, and um, um, <laughs> like, yeah. The, the thing about me, um, I usually when I write songs, um, I usually write free ideas, and I usually just throw away like the first two ideas, because I think like the first two ideas usually is not really unique enough, and I always just throw it out, uh, throw away the first two idea, and I keep the third one. Okay, interesting, interesting. I, I, um, I always ask the artists, you know, because I know everyone's setup is usually different. Everyone has a, a different type of technique. I mean, you must have heard that some people go to the studio and they don't actually write it down. They just go off that like, in their head freestyles and stuff. But I've actually never asked the singer whether they, they write in that way. Like, you know, I know rappers, a lot of rappers that I know, they, they tend to not want to write down stuff. For me, when I was writing music, I always wrote down stuff because my memory is terrible. So I'm not going to be able to remember nothing unless I write it down. And then I went from pad and then I started writing down on my phone and have the, I'd be in the booth and sometimes like, there wouldn't be that good lighting in the booth so then I couldn't read it. <laughs> so then I'd have to get like an iPad, which was bigger, so I could have bigger writing and so forth. And so, you know, the the, the struggles of being an artist, eh? The struggles. That was one of them. <laughs> so, so you got a, a live, you, you do your lives with sections, which is good. That sounds good. And then you got your YouTube as well. So what about any other socials so that people can, can, can follow you? Do you? Are you on TikTok? Um... I would love to be on TikTok, but I don't know why. Like I couldn't download it, um, where I am. Like I'm in Hong Kong, and I'm not allowed to download it. But I would love to have an account there. Oh wow! Oh, oh for real? So, so they don't they don't like TikTok in in Hong Kong? They don't allow allow um people to download it? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I, I figured it out recently. I was wanting I was wanting to download TikTok because it's really like a nice app for musician at the moment, and but I I couldn't download it. Yeah. Well, that's that's I, I'm sure they they probably um, work out whatever the the problem is with that. They probably work that one out later. So what was I gonna say? So have you have do you have any ambitions of of living somewhere else? Or are you happy with living in Hong Kong? Is it great there for you? I I always love um, travel. I always love to travel, and I think like my I think I would love to um, start living in, in Germany because um, germany okay yeah. interesting uh, yeah. so have you been have you been germany before or is it just something that you've seen on movies or you've seen it on the internet and you feel like it might be the place for you to to land um you know like when i was 16 and i i checked out um i was watching the voice of germany um and then i saw a guy like a little a guy was uh, singing a song and then he, he spoke in uh, speaking german and then I was like, wow, like I, and then I fell in love with the language. I don't know. And then I just feel I always have a thing for German. And then I started to learning, learning this, this language. And then, um, um, shit. What, um, sorry, what was the question? You know, I have like this weird <laughs> memory thing. Like it could just like, when I was talking about it and I'm just like, just go away. You know what? That, I do that as well. You know what it is, is that, is that, you you can multitask so i asked you the question and you're answering it but then you're thinking about something else as you're answering the question i do the same thing 
No, that's why I know what it is because I need that same stuff like that. That's so bad. Hey, do you do you want to change the colors like on your in your background just to see if we can get a better one? Yeah. Now like, you want to like a oh yeah. you can change it for me. So that's like pink. Yeah, yes, that's that's pink. All right, go go. Have you got like a whiter one? That one's cool. Yeah. Go. Like a. Like a brightest one. We're looking. Ah, I think this one's okay. it. Yeah, I think this is it. What what color is this? Um, what? this is um brighter y yellow, I think. Yeah, I think I think that's that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think that. You know the reason why I changed the light to purple because like I I was like realizing this. I was like, damn, like my interview starting in fifteen minutes and I I don't really have time for makeup and you know then I maybe like. Oh, oh come on, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby, you don't need makeup. Come on now. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're good. We're good over here. We're good. We're good. All right. So, Bobby, we got this program, sorry, this show on Glitch TV called Gone in 60 Seconds, where I ask you, I don't know, maybe about 15 questions, but I ask you it very quickly. They're all easy questions. If you don't know them, you can just say, I don't know. Move on. <laughs> yeah. And we are going to get that cracking right now. So, all right. this. Okay. Is Blitz TV's SJ and we are gone in 60 seconds. So basically, I'm going to ask you these questions. And then, like I said, if you don't know, you don't know. If you do, you do. Answer as, as good as you can. Can you, can I get 60 seconds? It's cool. I've got it over here if you, if you don't. And thank you for Coop's case 2.0. Yeah, no, it's no problem. All right, so we are ready. Right, so first question: Name three ingredients to make a pancake. A, f a flour, milk, uh, butter. Yay! In the movie Rush Hour, two actors shared a leading role. One was Chris Tucker, and the other was. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> what's the What's better for you, hot or spicy? Uh, both, both, hot and spicy. <laughs> when did you When did you last fall over? Uh, I, I I don't know how to drive. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're moving on. Name three planets in our solar system. Uh, so, sorry, what was that? Name three planets in our solar system. So other planets apart from Earth. Uh, uh, Jupiter, uh, Mars. Um, uh, uh, Neptune. Yeah. Okay. Favorite pet, cat or dog? A uh, 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 dog. And and we're out of time. <laughs> Gone in sixty seconds. I like it. I like it. Your answers was good. So, moving on. So, um, as for cameos, you know, like uh, performing. Well, not necessarily performing, but writing with other people. Do you do you, do you like to do that? Is that something you like doing? Um, I would. I think I definitely would. I would love to sing for other people, but I think like to write for other people. I I'm still thinking about that. Maybe I will. Maybe oh. I will. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because you have a very, um, it's a very nice style. Like you, you have the ability to change common songs and make them into your own song basically the song up that i was talking about by cardi b you did the your version of it but it's completely different like, i've never heard anything like that never, this is the reason why why i i um inboxed you about the interview because that was so unusual but it was good like it's like a whole new song how do you how do you do that like how how do you actually look at a song like that and turn it into what you made it? It was I'm quite interested in to your process behind doing stuff like that. How do you do that? Um, I think it's the reason it was I, I don't really when I was listening to the original song when I feel like it was not really the vibe for me because if I if I just make a cover, you know, because everybody are doing like the same like the similar thing, you know, they take the beat and then they sing to it. And I thought I was like, Okay, I wanted to do something different. And not only that, I think it's because, you know, my, my voice, I think like, you know, when I produce something that's like, that maybe fits my voice better when I, when I sing to it. 
and yeah. yeah, yeah, I, I think I think that's a that's a good answer because you know that's part of being an, an artist, adapting stuff to your own to your own stuff. Like you can hear music out there, and it will be good for them. That's their representation of what they was trying to get out there. I think you've turned it into your own thing. Cause it's like it's completely. Is it? It's like if that up song wasn't out, and I heard your version, I would think that was the original. <laughs> that, that's how good you did it. You did it a, a, a different type of justice. I, th I think if Cardi heard that, she'd probably get you on the remix. Be like, no, we need we need Barbie Mac on the remix. Cause jeez, she took it to a whole new a whole new place. You really did. You really really did. You really did. So. You're saying so you've got some other things coming up. You've got loads of projects that you're doing at the moment and whatnot. Is there anything that you're not doing that you would like to do? Like maybe, maybe um, uh, have a song with a reggae artist. What about that? Sure. I think I, I would love to try anything. Um, uh, I think what, about, what about a girl group? What about being in a girl group? In a, in a girl group? Or are you more of a solo artist? You're, you're looking, you're, you're looking at me like, no, no, that's a crazy idea. I would never do that. <laughs> you're looking at me. You know? Girl groups are definitely not your thing. You gave me that look. I see it. <laughs> I, I, I would try. Yeah, I, w I would. I would try definitely. Oh, you, you would. All right. So, out of all of the things that you've learned since you've been doing music, writing music, performing, everything. If someone came up to you and was like, you know, Barbie, um, I'm trying to get into music, and what 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 is the, what what words would you give them of inspiration? Like, what do you think over the years of you doing your thing, the biggest thing that you've learned to date? What would you t say to them? Them being a new artist just coming up. Um, yeah, I would say never give up and be consistent. And, you know, if you're, like, 100% sure of what you're doing, then, you know, you, you will achieve it. You know, I think if you if you dream, if you want to do something, then I think that you will definitely achieve it. That, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah. Well, this. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I think you're right. I mean, never give up. Perseverance. Don't stop. Anyone watching this now and they're just trying to get into music, that that is a very, very good... Um, that is a very, very good answer right there. Because once you stop, you're done. You can't do anything once you stop. You're finished. You're out of the game. Like, if we're playing a game of table tennis or whatever, and I walk off, I can't win. <laughs> you know? I could be losing 20 nil. As long as I carry on playing, I've got a chance of coming back. Once you stop, it's over. I think that's what a lot of people do. They get disheartened which is easy because it's not an easy industry, music. So it's easy to get disheartened. People get disheartened, they stop, they give it two years, they come back. Just try and keep going. Like, keep keep going. I think that's the, the main the main thing, the biggest thing. Yeah, and I also think... Well, what, what is the hardest thing that you, you've come across? Because, you know, as a woman in an industry that is, is not an easy, it's not an easy industry to be in. Like business wise, how do you how do you deal with your thing? Your situation over there, do you have like a manager? Um, I think like at this stage I don't need a manager. Um and um the, the funny thing is like, you know, in Hong Kong we have a thing it's called Canton Pop and then, you know, in Asia usually they you know, it's just like a little different uh style. Um, you know, they have their own kind of style, you know, J pop or K pop. Um, and then um, I, when I like started making music when I was 16 and I kind of like felt like, you know, I'm so connected to uh, music that's not really from, that's not really like um, popular or, uh, from my area. And then um, yeah. it took me like a couple of years for me to kind of like get out from this circle and then just get out and then find the right people. Um, that was, I think that was not really easy for me, like for like early years but then I, I think like I'm starting to you know I'm starting um feeling that I'm doing the right thing like this is the the right track and um another thing and I think like you know really like I think like everybody or like I mean some people who are like passionate about music they can really make a living 
like with music like this is like what I believe in and then I also like read a lot of books and you know and start to proving that like this is this is right like that this can work out yeah I think you know what you're saying is right reading books learning from different artists that have already done what you're trying to do um having people that are just just there to help you in certain sections and and also helping others because i think one thing that is really important is that an artist can be doing music for themselves but also try and help someone else as well that is in the same avenue as you or in the same direction as you so you're helping someone to do something they're helping you teamwork you know teamwork makes things a lot easier than than it would if you was just on your own just struggling <laughs> just just there just trying to do everything yourself i remember when i was doing my thing i just kept trying to do everything and it only got easier when i started allocating things for other people to do and also helping others to do exactly what i'm trying to do you know one big team just helping let's go to the comments because i see a few people i like to, i like to press the wave button i think i'm addicted to waving at people you know uncommon what's going on the uncommon i see you uh well this is uh, denny eight what's happening Colton music i see you coleman is that coleman is that coleman nicole i hopefully um pronounced that right tony mega what's going on it's jack I see you coming in yeah so it's been it's been an interesting one because it's definitely the first time that we spoke to someone all the way over in Hong Kong. So I like I like to um, uh, thank you for jumping on Blitz TV and spending the time with us as we as we spoke about your voyage and everything. It's 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 very good. Make sure that anytime you got music, just tag us and we will repost it for you. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. All right, Bobby Mac, we've come to the end of our interesting interview. We did 45 minutes of just pure knowledge and speaking and good vibes, and it was good. So, Glitch TV salutes you for coming on the channel. Thank you very much. And we, we, we hope that all your songs go Grammys. They all get Grammys, and you, and you, and you have multiple sales. <laughs> 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 uh, I wish to say for you for your rap for your rap songs and and yeah you, you really asked like great questions thanks for asking oh, thank, you. thank you thank you we're going to be posting this right away so you can download it and post it if you like <laughs> all right Glitch TV salutes you Bobby Matt take care it's thank been you. amazing